Hi, it's Robin from The Balanced Life, and today we're gonna talk about diastasis recti. So this is something I get asked about a lot as a Pilates instructor and also as a mom of four, something that I have also dealt with myself. So what is diastasis recti? It is when there is a separation down the center of your abdominals, and this is like the most basic way to explain it, and it doesn't fully heal, it doesn't fully come back together. So this is very common after pregnancy, after you've carried a baby and it's pushed on your abdominal wall and that connective tissue, and there's been some separation there, and then afterwards fails to fully heal and come back together. But it can also happen if you're not pregnant. It can just be something that you're dealing with in your body regardless. So let's talk a little bit about how we can check ourselves for diastasis recti to see if it's something we have or we need to heal within ourselves. And then also a couple of things to consider as you are exercising if you have diastasis recti. So the first thing I wanna mention is it's really the connective tissue that is stretched a little bit too much. And so that's what we're actually dealing with is figuring out how to get our alignment back together, how to get those muscles and that connective tissue back to a functioning place so that we can feel really supported in our core. A couple of signs of diastasis recti might be feeling like you still look pregnant, um, like there's just this kind of pooch here in this area because there's actually, you're, you're, you've not fully drawn back together in your abdominals and in that area. Um, you can also end up having back pain or other you know, pelvic floor issues or different things because we know our core, it's all connected. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to check yourself for diastasis if you're curious. You're gonna lie down on your back and go ahead and let your shoulders fall open. And you're gonna use two fingers and we're gonna check three different places, up high, in the middle, and a little lower. So we're gonna go just a couple of inches down from the rib cage to start. Go ahead and interlace your hand behind your head. You shouldn't be able to feel too much yet, but we're gonna take an inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna curl up. And you're basically seeing, as you feel your muscles engage, is there a hole that you can stick your fingers down into? So up here, I do not have, I can't stick my fingers down. Um, and we're looking for kind of width and depth. So just make a note of that and then lower yourself back down. Now we're gonna go about around your belly button. Take an inhale, exhale to curl up. Now here, as I feel my abs engaged, I can feel about a finger width gap between my abs or those two ridges that I feel right around my belly button. So that's three years postpartum with twins. It used to be much larger for me, but I'm, I'm down to about a finger width distance, not too deep. And go ahead and lower down. And then we're gonna go a little bit lower, a few inches below the belly button curling up. And for me there, I hardly feel any separation. So I know that that's healed for me, thanks to lots of work in Pilates. <laughs> and lower back down. Now what you're looking for there in yourself is if you, if you notice a separation, um, notice how wide it is. So that's why we use our fingers. It's normal to have some separation after pregnancy. I'm down to about a finger, um, and that's after four kids, including twins. Talk about a lot of pressure on that abdominal wall. But the, we're also looking for width. So we usually say if it's two, the width of two fingers are wider, that's when we usually need to take some precautions and do some extra healing. So if you noticed two fingers are wider gap while doing that test, then you may wanna reach out to a physical therapist um, to get checked for sure, to see if that's what you're dealing with and to get some recommendations for your unique body. I highly recommend that. But a few quick tips we can think about right now is that if you have diastasis, you want to avoid a lot of forward pressure on that abdominal wall because that's only going to further that separation if we're not working properly, right? And so that's why people can have diastasis, not have any idea, go back to the gym, do a hundred crunches every day and feel like, why are my abs not flattening? Or why am I not feeling like I can get this back in shape? It's because you're actually putting more pressure on that separation and sometimes doing more harm than good. So if you're healing, you want to avoid that constant forward pressure. So instead, this is where Pilates can be so helpful that we do have to make some modifications. You want to focus on stabilization, right? So instead of doing lots of this kind of stuff, even the hundred, I would not recommend if you're healing diastasis recti. Instead, you want to focus on stabilization exercises. For example, thinking of drawing those muscles in like a corset and doing some toe taps 
It doesn't look fancy, but it is going to bring results. Or perhaps doing some bent knee fallouts where we practice staying stable in the core while we just open and close the legs. So basic exercises that focus on stabilization is gonna be where your best focus is. We also can think of in Pilates exercises like we do with leg lifts or leg circles. This is not necessarily a straight up ab exercise, but in the way that you have to stabilize, you're going to help to draw those muscles in and together and build strength while also working other areas of the body as well. So those are a few things to think about. Let me know if this video was helpful for you. Go ahead and leave a comment and Pilates can be really, really helpful in restoring your body postpartum in the prenatal season, or really it's for life, any time in life. But I wanted to specifically touch on diastasis recti and how Pilates can really help to bring your core back into good shape so you can feel your best both on and off the mat. So thanks for joining. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you on your mat soon.